Hello and welcome. My name's Superstain and this is my video covering all of the news and the pre-orders from Forge World and Games Workshop. A very warm welcome to all of you new subscribers, members and patrons. Um, your support is very much appreciated and if you'd like to support the channel further um, please do consider using the Element Games affiliate link in the description below every time you purchase uh, some of your Warhammer goodness and then use the Element Games crystal code uh, at the checkout and you can earn yourself double the number of uh, crystals that you can use um, for a further discount on your next purchase. Without further ado, let's have a look at the news uh, over at the Warhammer community. Um, it's been very, very Black Templar themed, I have to say. If we just go down to a week ago on the 2nd of October, way down here, um, we will see that... Uh, there was a little preview of Twice Dead King uh, proves uh, that death isn't the end of today's Black Library's um, pre-orders. So Nate Crowley, or Crowley, uh, he has now written his second kind of big, big uh, novel uh, off of the back of Gaskell's uh, origin story um, called The Twice Dead King Ruin. Uh, there's also going to be a second um, uh, book already planned for this. Uh, but uh, yeah, you could have um, pre-ordered this last weekend on the Saturday. I think it was about £40 or so, or the uh, the hardback book. And I'm glad to see Games Workshop and Black Library kind of making that U-turn and releasing both special editions and hardbacks uh, uh, versions of the same book available at the same time. I mean, yes, it would be a gift from the Emperor if we also had the paperback as well. Um, but... Um, at the moment, I'm quite happy with uh, with these two offerings. On the same day, uh, you could pre-order um, the Aeronautica Imperialis, a brand new box set. They've done a box set of Imper Aeronautica before, um, but this is the new one that features Space Marines and Eldar. Um, you, it looks just going down there. It looks like you're getting, um, you know, six uh, Zyphon interceptors, but you don't. You get uh, three, okay, and you get the two. Uh, Storm Eagles and and you get the Nightwing fighters and the Phoenix bombers and um, you get uh, three of those and two bombers you get three of those Nightwings and uh, three bombers actually and then uh, you could also pre-order them separately in their packs and you have a load of cards and some dice to go with them and uh, another area of engagement um, as well as uh, some scenery, some ground assets and defensive batteries. Um, they are oddly uh, Orcs and um, Imperial Navy. Um, the Eldar ones uh, and Space Marine ones have been siphoned off uh, for Forge World. So Forge World do them and, and it wasn't even uh, mentioned in the preview uh, article the day after. That they'd be coming out on Forge World. I looked on Forge World yesterday, and I was quite surprised that they were there, with no uh, no mention of them before. Necromunda, uh, you could pre-order your Vansar uh, weapons and upgrade set, and also this really really cute uh, Nurgling. Uh, McFa McFarlane Toys uh, are carrying on their relentless uh, uh, pursuit of making all of the miniatures uh, uh, into these. Um, action figures uh, in the form of the flayed ones or a flayed one that hasn't been uh, painted and then a sister of battle as well. The Sunday preview uh, kicked off with the Black Templar army set uh, and I know it's going to be popular but they have specifically said uh, during the week that anyone who wants to get one will be able to get one as they even did a little um, video of the pre-orders and this is the army set. Hmm, odd. Uh, I think it's going to be the £120 or so that we're used to. The, the front cover of the Codex Supplement uh, is, is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful artwork and, uh, you know, a, a fantastic choice uh, for that. You're getting a card, you're getting a transfer sheet. 
Um, what do you get? This is it. This is what you get in the army set. Um, it does suck that they're putting in a, um, you know, just a normal Redemptor Dreadnought with no, like, upgrade sprue for little extras and things that you can add to him. Uh, but, yeah, that, that obviously does suck. And it's not a brand, brand new model, um, but you are getting the new Emperor's Champ Champion. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the, the supplement book is 80 pages, so that's going to be quite a thin one, guys. Okay, it's not going to be the, the sort of army... Uh, the full army codex book that you um, would have uh, received in the Snaggers uh, army set or the uh, Sisters of Battle. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice if they had another unique uh, mini uh, for the Black Templars instead of just a Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, I think at the moment I've got like four, so this would be my fifth one. And yeah, it's just too many for me, five Redemptor Dreadnoughts. However, you can never have enough uh, old boxy Dreadnoughts, am I right? <laughs> So looking down, they give you a little uh, preview of the cards as well. So you're getting 13 miniatures here. Um, you've got a Primaris Crusader squad, uh, which has four neophytes, five initiatives, and a sword brother. I think this is a sword brother. Uh, you're also getting uh, a marshal and the new emperor's champion. So yes, you're pretty much getting one unit, one unit of 10, and then two characters and the uh, dreadnought. Blood Bowl, uh, they have brought back 12 metal uh, figures. So they still make metal miniatures, Games Workshop do. Um, and that is the form of the Blood Bowl Amazon team. And then you've got the Blood Bowl Tomb Kings team right here. Uh, there's a preview for the White Dwarf magazine. I think that's going to be out next week uh, sometime. I'll uh, give you a, an unboxing and first look at that. And then Black Library, we've got the um, paperback version of Mortis. I really enjoyed Mortis, obviously, because uh, I'm a big titan uh, fan and there's plenty of titan content in in that book warhammer plus uh, this was for wednesday of the week just gone um, you had a battle report with the stormcast eternals uh, versus beast claw raiders um, i think they've actually got the new dragons i'd want to say in there um, and then uh, louise went through a master class of uh, how to paint gems and then you've got the hammer of Volta new animation as well as some additions in the warhammer vault there's a Spanners episode, and then a new article for Horus Heresy, launch a daring strike into the heart of Ultramar with the Night Lords. Um, so a little look at um, some of the Cataphracti Terminators with their um, Forge World uh, weapon upgrade sprues and the existing Forge World uh, Alpha Contempt to Dreadnought and the existing uh, Night Lords um, Terminators. And, uh, uh, you know, a little download... Um, PDF with the law and the rules for the defense of Sotha. Um, I do like that. I like that they do this and I wish they did this more often, um, you know, breathing more uh, life into Horus Heresy and uh, with these extra bonuses because, yeah, clearly it costs money for them to do that and uh, I'd like to see more of that. There's a look at Warhammer Underworld's Harrow Deep with a little um, video and also uh, a little game. It's, it's turning into a card game, really. Uh, you've been encouraged to build the ultimate deck from an ever-growing pool of cards. So, a little article there. Blood Bowl pitch side report. You've got the Verminator. And this fantastic uh, new mini. Oh, I mean, look at that. Uh, stunning artwork as well. Um, so he will be coming up for pre-order soon. Um, possibly from Forge World, I would say. And then there was plenty of uh, Black Templars uh, articles dotted about. So you've got the uh, reinforcements with amazingly uh, zealous new models. So another video there. And look at that model. Absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a you know, homage to Black Templars from the past. The only thing I don't really... Uh, I'm not a big fan of, and I never have been, is the cabling. <sighs> I kind of get it there, you know, the cable to the flamer, um, if that's the fuel canister, I get that. Um, but with the power axe, typically you have a power module um, inlaid into the into the weapon. Um, so maybe this is a very old relic weapon or so. But uh, yeah, this guy is thick uh, and there's plenty of cables and 
all kinds of things going on. Plenty of schools, just fantastic mini, and I will be picking him up. Um, I'm so pleased that they've they've made him. I wonder if they'll make uh, this one on the on the left, or they already have. Uh, but I'd like to see more of that. I always love it when the Games Workshop bring uh, you know the artwork to life uh, with these specific minis. Um, but fantastic. You've got a rumor engine. Uh, it looks like some kind of uh, little loot chest. Thinking that's uh, Age of Sigma. Uh, you've got Harrowdeep. Warband wants to cleanse the Harrowdeep. So a look at both of the new uh, warbands that are coming out in the box set uh, with that. Um, Ether Wing, I think it's called. And then you've got the Cool Boys with a couple of cool looking grots. Kind of remind me of. Um, the hobbits wearing the armor in uh, in Mordor. So that's the cool boys there. Uh, Games Workshop decided to bring out like themed army bundles, which don't save you any money. Um, it's really quite odd. But you've got the old foes bundle. I think they've got they made so many Invictus and suppressors and um, you know Phobos Space Marines. I think they they just. I don't know whether they sold, but yeah, they, they've brought this bundle out. And Necrons, they really want to um, sell you the, the Tomb Blades and, uh, you know, the Warriors. I think they've still got a lot of Warriors. But you click there and then you, you can buy a theme bundle. Uh, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't really save you anything, which is a shame. Uh, you've got the, other than the Combat Patrols, which are uh, included in both of those. You've got another Black Templars uh, article showcasing the minis and some of the rules. I'm going out up against uh, some snaggers. Terminator's looking nice and big there. <laughs> uh, you've got uh, a look at the Warhammer Plus Age of Sigma content uh, coming next year. You've got the Hammer and Bolter episode. You've got the Regimental Standard Valuable Military Simulations for Idle Guardsmen. Perfume your enemies to death with hot incense. I know, right? You've now got relic bearers uh, for them and you've got some... Uh, Black Templar specific uh, parts there. That's a really cool bit of artwork. Look at the little shields on the bolt gun. You've got some Black Library news with Erdesh, Serpent and the Saint, and then the Magister and the Martyr, both by uh, Matthew Farah. Farah? Farah? Another Black Templar's uh, article about the Crusade rules. You've got a nice little uh, Penitent's Raw pistol, an AP-3 pistol, wow. Uh, and then you've got some uh, Centurions. you got a pre-order weekend promise, guarantees you won't miss out on them. So yep, yeah, that's their pre-order promise, um, which is great. Um, it's good that they're doing these pre-order promises. Uh, they did this pre-order promise with uh, the Kill Team box set, but they didn't do it with the Beast Snag. And I know there's a lot of people that were um, quite disappointed. Even though they had the queuing system up and running for Beast Snaggers, um, there's a lot of Orc um, collectors and players that, that really wanted them um, and uh, unfortunately missed out. If you're a Black Templars player or a Space Marine player and uh, you want your fifth um, Redemptor Dreadnought and some new Black Templars and uh, an 80-page book, then... Um, yeah, you're going to be able to, to pick that up. Uh, it says before 8 a.m. on Monday the 11th of October. So that's all weekend pre-order promise. And uh, I hope that they do this more often. Um, I'm not sure whether this set is going to um, sell that well. Uh, and I think if they didn't have the pre-order promise, it they would have sold all of it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what, what goes on uh, over this weekend. But yeah, you can definitely pick that up now. Over the next few days, uh, there was a look at uh, new Horus Heresy mini uh, Remus Vantanus, um, brand new for Ultramarines. Uh, it's got this big, big um, banner, lauded as a savior of Kalth, um, led a desperate defense of what was once the greatest, what was once the grandest and most civilized planets in the Imperium against the word bearers. He's got a killer new um, miniature from Forge World. Uh, looks fantastic. Um, again, I've been very impressed with the 
um, recent Horus Heresy minis, all of the Praetors uh, have had a lot of um, detail, the Imperial Fists, the Word Bearers and the Ultramarines ones as well. And if you collect Ultramarines uh, or if you just want some kind of um, banner bearer for your army uh, for Ultramarines that will look fantastic next to uh, Gilliman, then um, yeah, this, this is the way forward. Um, not quite sure about the head, it might be the lighting um, and you know, but uh, but there we go. The helmeted version looks absolutely fantastic. I love the gemstone there, and they've even managed to put some marbling effect in the uh, Omega symbol. You've got to look at the Mark of Kalth, which covers um, the war between the Ultramarines and word bearers. Uh, so worth picking that up and reading that. It is written. It is edited by Laurie Goulding. That is himself, Ventanus. Uh, there was also a focus on uh, some of the other uh, minis that they recently released in lovely paint schemes as well. The uh, uh, Praetor and then the Terminator Praetor and uh, Argyll Tal. There's some new maps for uh, Warhammer The Old World right here. So you can sort of zoom in or click them and then you can uh, have a little gander at what's going on. You've got the Forest of Gloom there. It's getting uh, more and more fleshed out. And then pre-order these ground assets. So this was up uh, yesterday and it just came out of nowhere. Uh, it wasn't in the preview um, uh, article as we've all just seen. Um, maybe it's another uh, example of Forge World and um, Warhammer Community being completely separate teams and not talking to each other uh, that well. But you've got the Adeptus Astartes ground assets. Um, uh, in the form of um, some Icarus um, batteries and uh, a Sky Spear missile launcher, uh, which you can find on the top of uh, the tanks, and they look very, very similar to those. Um, you've also got a Bastion there as well. Then for Eldar, you've got some kind of webway portal. I like the three pronged webway portal, that looks uh, very nice. And then you've got a a night spinner platform and a pulse lance platform uh, so yeah um first time we've seen these i mean it would have been great to have these as actual bigger plastic kits but you can get them from forge world we'll have a look at those in in a moment and then the final articles you've got um an article focusing on uh, a bellicose um <laughs> black templars army list here and um, so i like the fact that they, they're giving you army list that they've made and um, give you some ideas and you've got the uh, Emperor's Champion you've got the Crusader and then you've got um, plenty of uh, stratagems it's a guide to Warhammer Underworld's warbands uh, off of the upcoming release of Harrowdeep you've got the Crimson Court Iron Souls Morags Kagra's Ravagers so good at and then bad at and then fun fact um, so it only shows a few of them there. Oh, and then you've got some here. Best for magic, of course. Uh, oh, and then best for a bit of everything. So, Slanesh. Oh, and then best for pets. Yep, you've got the crab. You've got the wolves. You've got a little saber tooth. You've got some bats. Yeah, so that's a fun little article. And then the final article is, uh, you've got a, the, it focuses on a Warhammer Studio designer's army. Um, so this is their Black Templar's army. Uh, I love the sort of flame and the yellow of the, of the weapons that they've gone for. I'm wondering whether it would have been cool to have yellow for the bolt guns because they've done yellow for the hell blasters there. Um, they look very cool, I like the flame effects. And then you've got some Centurions, and you've got the Dreadnought, so, and then a Redemptor. Oh, look at that model, absolutely fantastic, and the Empress Champion. So they've had them quite a while to have built them and painted them. I think that's classic artwork there. Based on this last stand model. 
So, yeah, that's a fun little article. And that's it for all of the uh, news uh, and extra articles that Warhammer community um, like to um, provide us during the week. What I'll do now is head on over to uh, Forge World. So here we are on Forge World's uh, web store. You've got a banner here, which if I do click, it will take us to um, uh, the queue, um, which is, yeah, crazy because there's... I think they should be separate. I know it's all linked, but um, I guess, you know, if you logged into here and then you went to Games Workshop from here, um, that would be like a sneaky way in. But if we click on new, it'll put us into the queue. So what I'll do is I'll go away and do a few things and then I'll come back and um, we can have a look at the pre-orders on Forge World's web store. So here we are on Forge World's web store. If we just go on to pre-orders, uh, you will find the Aeronautica um, Adeptus Astartes ground assets for £22 um, so yes that is uh, just slightly over £7 um, per little uh, mini I think that each of them come in, in a couple of parts um, does it specifically say uh, nope but you're getting a resin uh, sky spear missile launcher Icarus storm cannon array and armoured bastion um, so if you would like some uh, ground assets to go with your um, brand new uh, plastic um, aircraft and flyers from Aeronautica um, box game, then you can pre-order them, uh, you know, yesterday. So they'll come next week. So you shouldn't have too long to wait um, before they join your um, uh, your games. Um, the next... Uh, set is the Eldari or Eldar ground assets uh, same price 22 pounds um, for these and um, again they come in a you know a few parts each and you're getting a night spinner platform a pulsar platform and a uh, webway gate um, so there you go a nice little addition to aeronautica in the form of these these resin um, ground assets i'd probably say you need sort of um, uh, two of these each uh, that that would look quite good on a on a board and um, you can also check out the other resin uh, offerings that they have such as the uh, militarum ground assets and the tau uh, ground assets too and uh, they also make a number of uh, resin minis such as the uh, vulture gunships and the big orc air war uh, mega bomber uh, it's massive um, I've, I've seen it in in the real life it's a shame they don't include sort of size comparisons and things but i would love forge world uh, and actually games workshop to make one of these big big uh, mega bombers uh, hope they do one day so there you go uh, that's all the forge world uh, pre-orders uh, for, for yesterday uh, and you'll receive them next week next weekend um let's jump on over to games workshop's web store and have a look at um uh, the Black Templars releases. So it's uh, kept my place in the queue, so to speak, uh, and uh, it has shown um, uh, the the big banner here on the front. Uh, you can remember you can still get um, Sergeant Castus up until uh, the the end of October. So you've got um, you know over two weeks still um, to uh, to spend one hundred and fifty pound, and then you'll get this uh, this miniature. Um, I suppose getting the new Black Templars is, is a great way of, of building that up and even some Orcs. Um, and then you've got a little advert of Blood Bowl made to order the classic teams. Um, so you can have a look at those as well as uh, some Orcs. So if we click on new and exclusive and we go to pre-orders and we look at high to low. Um, we go view all. Uh, there's the Black Armies. Uh, there's the Black Templars army set. 125 pound here. I think you can get it a bit cheaper from third parties, um, but uh, you technically only need to spend another 25 pounds, and then uh, you can pick up um, the Castus as well. The 13 pound uh, Nurgling plushie would be a good way to go uh, because then you're you're almost at uh, 40, and then I'm sure you can find a, another 15 pound miniature or something that uh, Games Workshop can do or just pick up some paints and things uh, and then you've you've hit that 150 marker. So I'm glad that they are actually running the competition when things are up for pre-order. Uh, you can remember the, the Forge World one um, last month where they didn't have an awful lot to pre-order 
uh, and um, you had to spend over the the hundred pound uh, for entries. Um, and likewise, when they ran the uh, you know five pound voucher for every fifty pound spent, um, there there wasn't an awful lot up for pre order then either. But uh, it's glad to see that throughout October there's been uh, a number of um, new releases and um, new miniatures that we can uh, we can add. So as I mentioned in the uh, preview, uh, you've got thirteen miniatures, twelve of them uh, are brand new. Uh, so it's just the Redemptor that is, uh, I say old. It's been out four years. Um, it is the multi-part um, Redemptor, though. I have to say that they haven't cheaped out with the uh, monopose easy to build one. Um, you've basically got a Dreadnought, uh, ten miniatures. Um, and then two characters um, for your £125, as well as the uh, £80 Codex Supplement um, book uh, with the lovely uh, artwork as well. And it is a soft touch uh, cover, um, so it's going to be very similar to the uh, Beast Snagger um, Codex. You've got the Aeronautica Imperialis Wrath of Angels. Um, I think I might have said that uh, this was up for pre-order uh, last week. Um, maybe it is, maybe it had a two week pre-order window, but uh, it's saying that it's going to be delivered from today. So I think it was up for pre-order last weekend, but um, for some reason they've still got it uh, on the pre-order uh, site. Gaunt's Ghosts are now temporarily out of stock. Uh, they've, they've been and gone. Uh, the Blood Bowl teams, which only consist of 12 miniatures each, are £40 in metal. Um, you got the Outer Reaches area of engagement. So these were up for pre-order last weekend, along with the Eldar and Space Marine. Important uh, point to make that the Imperial Navy and Orc Air War ground assets, they're now out of stock. Interesting. Um, you have the Twice Dead King Ruin. I think that was pre-order last weekend um, for the £18, because that's delivered from you know today. Uh, the Vansar was last weekend. However, Mortis available in paperback uh, is one of the uh, pre-orders for today, along with uh, the White Dwarf. So you've got Mortis in paperback, the White Dwarf, the two Blood Bowl teams, and then the Black Templar's army set. Not a huge number of pre-orders today, uh, I think you'll agree. Um, most likely, uh, the rest of October will be covered by um, Black Templars. I think next weekend we'll see more um, pre-orders for them. Or maybe they'll just uh, delay them a little bit and uh, release some of the Age of Sigmar dragons and things because we've still got those and also we've still got the uh, the Warmaster. Typically the start of November as well, uh, we get a look at the new battle forces um, for Christmas. Uh, they sell out very, very quickly. So, um, you know, as soon as I find news on this, I'll put it on Instagram and I'll, I'll make a video and, and try and do a uh, price review of them all and give you an idea of, of which... Um, saves you the most money, even though they might all be sold out by the time I make that video. So that's it for all of the pre-orders uh, today. It's mainly the Black Templar set. Good luck in getting one. It's guaranteed anyway, so I, I wouldn't, you know, um, have an aneurysm about uh, not being able to pick one up. They, they're going to be plenty, and they guarantee that uh, everyone can get one that wants one. What do you guys think uh, of all of the pre-orders today? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects